You all know this knife. This is the Hogue Made uh, Ritter RSK1. RSK stands for Ritter Survival Knife Mark I. And uh, it's the latest generation of what was once called the Ritter Grip or the Ritter Griptilian when this basic design was made by um, Benchmade on their Griptilian platform. The idea behind the this knife, the RSK1, uh, originally and still now was to put a premium steel, premium blade steel, uh, on a on a very capable and slicey blade, and put that in an inexpensive, cheap, light, cheap lightweight handle, so that the everyman could have whatever the latest super steel was. Basically, at the time uh, the Ritter Griptilian started from Benchmade, it was S30V. Years later, now with Hogue, it's 20CV. This is the, uh, what do they call this? They call this G-Mascus. It looks like layers of white, gray, black, and purple G10. Or maybe, maybe no white. Maybe it's just gray, purple, and black. And then when they mill it and contour it, it, it uh, reveals different, all the different layers. And uh, this um, sunburst pattern that radiates from the pivot is a, a sort of trademark, design trademark of Doug's. So all of his knives uh, these days include that milling, including the uh, the big fixed blade. There's a four and a half version fixed blade of this knife, four and a half inch bladed version. So this is just, uh, you know, kind of like the big one. And the big one is one of my favorite knives. Uh, and, you know, part of it is because I just until I started speaking with Doug Ritter and until I started looking at knife rights and, and looking at what his pedigree is in aviation survival. You know, he wrote the book on what to do when you crash a helicopter or a plane, how to survive. And actually you can buy survival kits from him uh, where he puts together a whole thing and it includes the fixed blade version of this. Should have cleaned this before this uh, video. Uh, as you can see on this, the large RSK1, I put uh, an MXG gear clip on it. My one criticism of Hogue knives across the board have been uh, the gauge of the steel they use for their pocket clips. Not that I've had issues, but it, they're it, they're very springy and I have no doubt, the, but they're a little too light for me. I don't know uh, if that's a perceived uh, weakness or if it's actually real. I mean, it's very springy steel and I've never had retention problems at all. But uh, I don't know, something in me wants a little thicker clip. Um, so if you've had no experience with Hogue knives, their version of what was initially, uh, originally called the Axis Lock, or what is called the Axis Lock by Benchmade, they're the ones who created it. Uh, McHenry and Williams did, and Benchmade kind of, uh, I guess, had access to that, uh, uh, what do you call it, patent the whole time. And when that patent um, a few years ago in, I think, 2018 expired, everyone jumped on this lock design. Hogue did their own version of it. They call it the Able Lock Advanced Bar Lock Enhanced. Wait, uh, no, Ambidextrous Bar Lock Enhanced. I guess, uh, presumably enhanced over the Axis Lock version. Plus, I know they use different springs in here, and one of the one of the big complaints about the Axis Lock from Benchmade over the years have been that its Achilles heel are these Omega springs, and that they tend to snap. I've never had that issue, but I've never had a um, Benchmade really in my in my daily rotation for too long. Apparently, the springs in these uh, Hogs are much stronger. They use a company called Wolf, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, but man, I just don't know a damn thing. I'm just going off at the mouth here showing you this purple knife. Uh, but let me assure you, it is a fine purple knife. Look at the uh, blade steel uh, difference. Look at the difference in the thickness. That nice broad blade and that high uh, flat grind makes these things very, very slicey. Look at that edge. Man, Hogue, I'm glad they got into knife making because they just, they make some crazy great knives. All right, I'm just gonna show some knife, uh, some other comparisons and and then uh, 
And that's where I'll wrap it. Another purple knife. I guess my other remaining purple knife. I had a big purple Wii for a while. But uh, so the Delica, kind of uh, the same size, same, uh, same class of knife, if you will. Though uh, I gotta say, the Hogue is, I would trust the Hogue more in a, in a uh, situation where I really needed to go to town on something. It's just a fatter handle, it's contoured, it's more comfortable. It just feels a little bit more robust. Uh, but, you know, these are three inch bladed knives, so the expectation is you're not really doing much of that stuff at all. So maybe that's a moot point. All right, here it is with another sensitively covered colored knife. Here it is with my Rat 2. This is kind of a combination between those. Purple and pink, and here it is with a Finch Runtley. Cool little knife. Another great EDC, and I'm just showing this because it happens to be here because it needs to get sharpened. The CRKT made Ruger Knives uh, LCK, designed by Matthew Lurch. Kind of a random comparison, but there it is, if you know that knife. The next knife everybody knows because everybody who watches knife videos is familiar with it. The paramilitary too, which I only keep around to show off next to other knives. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not busting on the paramilitary too. It's a great knife. I've never ever been able to get the slop out of it though, and never quite got the action the way uh, other people seem to. But uh, yeah, there it is with the para two and one more. Um, something I'm awaiting, anxiously awaiting new scales for. Uh, is the TRM Atom, and uh, love them over there. Um, but man alive, are they taking their time. You know what it is, I'm just anxious. Can't wait to get them. I got uh, some um, forest green G10 handles with this wing sculpting that they put on it. So um, kind of in a way similar to this because it's a, a complex milling pattern on a contoured sculpted G10 handle. So anyway, there it is, your Hogue Mini RSK-1, designed by Doug Ritter, executed flawlessly, I would say, by Hogue. And uh, thank you, Doug. This was a gift from Doug. And even if he didn't send this to me as a gift, I would be doing this video with this knife saying all the same things, because, man, it is, it is way up to the hype and more. So definitely check this thing out. Uh, oh, by the way, Knifeworks. It's a Knifeworks exclusive. So check it out on Knifeworks. All right, guys, take care.